ஆரம்பிக்கலாம் <laughs> and the serological testing but more important is that uh, these these cases are more often missed and late diagnosis can lead to poor outcomes while if you diagnose them early then the outcomes are generally good as uh, pointed out by some somavya sir as well that most of the infective uh, retinitis or infective uveitis if you make a diagnosis early you'll have good outcomes now my first case is this uh, 48 year old gen- gentleman who presented to us with a progressive blurring of vision for 6 months and he had history of night blindness uh, he was a known case of diabetes vision at presentation was 6 9 uh, the nta segment was uh, quiet while he had one plus vitritis now the ffa showed a diffuse uh, capillary leakage with vasculitis baseline investigations uh, vdr was non reactive hiv was non reactive montu was uh, 15 by 12 mm so we thought that this is an idiopathic uh, vasculitis and we started the patient on prednisolone 60 mg od to our surprise the vision the patient although the clinical picture was almost the same as at presentation the vision deteriorated in the more so in the left eye so we thought that maybe we are dealing with something else and the fundus autofluorescence showed this kind of stippled hyper and hy- hypo autofluorescence and on oct we saw this nodular uh, rp nodularity uh, this was seen in both the eyes and so we thought went on and searched the literature on what this could be so based on these findings poor response to steroid the autofluorescence and these rp nodularity we revised a diagnosis to syphilitic chorioretinitis and retested the patient for specific treponemal test with tpha which came out to be positive and a repeat vdrl was reactive we treated this patient with uh, iv cetraxone and in 2 weeks time the vision started improving and the vision improved to 69 and 618 in the left eye and you can see that the nodular nodular lesions which were seen in the outer retina or at the rp level they disappeared with the antibiotic treatment now this is case 2 uh, a 30 year 38 year old male who presented with lotus metamorphopsia and the vision was 66 the fundus looked innocuous uh he had history of painless genital ulcers two months back again the vdrl was negative montu was also negative if you see carefully the fundus showed this placoid lesion which is in the deep retina and which are which is well demarcated you can also see some yellow white subretinal spots and focal vascular cupping we did an autofluorescence and you can see this stippled hyper autofluorescence which corresponded to those areas of uh, yellow deposits and again we had these rp nodularity so this time we had become smarter and so we re- repeated vdrl which came out to be reactive tpha was also re- reactive and this was a classical presentation of acute syphilitic posterior placoid chorea retinopathy we started the patient on iv ceftriaxon and you can see within a month's time there was disappearance of the lesion and the patient had good visual recovery as well and again you see the serial octs showing that the rp nodularity also disappeared although initial vdrl was negative the classical features of uh this aspcpc on multimodal imaging helped us in making the diagnosis 
Now, this is the last case which just, we saw just one week back, a 20-year-old, 28-year-old male who presented with diminution of vision about a month back. And he was being treated, he was from Videsha near Bhopal. He was being treated at different places in Bhopal with azithromycin plus steroids and clindamycin and dexamethasone without much improvement. And I think this, uh, and he had these lesions on the palm. He denied any history of uh, uh, sexual contact and other uh, history. Uh, but if, and as shown by Dr. Mudit as well, this classical picture of ground glass retinitis with these superficial retinal precipitate gave us a clue that this could be, we, we could be dealing with uh, ocular syphilis. And when we tested, the patient was, react, had, was reactive for HIV, VDRL, and TPHA was also positive. We, had, uh, we have advised the patient for heart and uh, specific uh, syphilis antibiotic therapy. The patient ha has gone back, has not yet come back for follow-up, but this presentation was quite classical of ocular syphilis. So our learning was that, that syphilis can be a great imitator and hence any uveitic, uh, uh, any patient with presenting with uveitis should be investigated for syphilis. The two classical presentations uh, are very highly suggestive of syphilis. First is acute syphilitic posterior, placoid posterior chorioretinitis and these ground glass retinitis with superficial retinal precipitate. If you see these two presentations, they are quite suggestive of ocular syphilis. Multimodal imaging, especially OCT with RP nodularity, is very suggestive of syphilitic, syphilitic chorioretinitis. The other learning was that the non-treponemal test can be negative in many of these patients. So screening the patient based on just VDRL may not be a good uh, idea and as suggested by CDC also that reverse screening al algorithm with uh, screening with both triponemal as well as non-triponemal test should be done in all patients suspected of ocular syphilis or rather all patients with uveitis. Thank you very much and I would like to thank Professor Gupta uh, for all his teaching because whatever I've learned in syphilis is because of uh, in uveitis is because of him. Thank you so much.